guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be this fun, flapper 1920s Great Gatsby inspired makeup look. There's a lot of variations to this that you can do. This is going to start with a classic smoky cat eye and then this is going to morph into more of the vintage 20s look and you can take that as far as you wish or not. You can leave out the really dramatic brows and just have your own brows. You can not do the unique shape of the lip. So this is just really all about how far you want to take this. I'm going to be using the new Naked Ultimate Basics by Urban Decay, which is just a lot of neutral matte shades. Pretty much everything with this look is matte, so you don't have to do this palette, but just to give you an idea of the types of colors that you're looking at, I'm using primarily the warm shades, and then I did add the burgundy in here. This beautiful headpiece that I'm wearing is by Sunny Band. I'm going to put a link below to her site. She does amazing headpieces, millinery, hats, fascinators. This was made for me for Steeplechase a few years ago, and I'm finally getting a chance to wear it again and do some photos in it. This is actually just a clip. It actually can be used for hair or on a hat and then this is a choker that I put together so you can make your own headpiece. I'm excited to get to wear this again because I have been dying to because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So anyway I hope you enjoy the video. If you recreate this look please be sure to hashtag me at Crystal White Beauty on Instagram. If you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know. Also be sure to comment down below and let me know if you have any questions and be sure to subscribe because there's going to be a lot more videos coming up soon. I have a lot of editing to do. So anyway I hope to see you back soon and I hope y'all have a very very happy Halloween. Thanks guys. So here's to celebrating it not being a Prohibition era anymore. I'm starting with my usual blank canvas and I'm going to begin by preparing my eyelid with an eyeshadow base and taking this all over from lash to brow to prepare my eye for eyeshadows. Now I'm going to be using a neutral vanilla shade underneath the brow bone. Next switching to a warm taupe and I'm going to sweep this right above the crease and blend this out as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to be using this terracotta shade. I'm using an angle brush, angled down into the crease, and then buffing this out with my MAC 217. I'm going to repeat this underneath the eye and really buff and smoke this out. Next, I'm going to be using the shade that's in between a matte black and a charcoal. I'm going to be taking this all over the lid up to the crease of the eye and really layering this and packing this on and then blending this out lightly. I'm going to then switch to an actual charcoal. I'm going to take this right above that shadow and take it right to the crease of the eye and blend. Now, using a waterproof black eyeliner pencil, I'm going to rim the top and bottom waterline of my eye. Now I'm going to use a brush with a little bit of that black charcoal shadow on it and smudge out all of that line. Next I'm going to apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Then using a black matte liquid eyeliner, I'm going to line across the top with a dramatic winged line and top it off with a set of dramatic lashes. Now if you're interested in the more classic 1920s look, go ahead and skip to the six minute mark here and that's going to take you straight to the rest of that look. If you want to continue on with the more modern take on this, continue watching here. I'm beginning with a more radiant primer to give the skin a glow and then I'm going to be mixing a glowing foundation with a cream full coverage foundation. Applying all over with an oval brush and then pressing in with my Dampen Beauty Blender. Here I'm doing some color correction. I'm going to con continue on here with highlight and contour. And if you're interested in seeing a more in-depth version of this palette and going through the full tutorial on how I like to highlight and contour with it, please be sure to subscribe because I am going to have a follow-up video that goes over all of that. But for time, this is just going to give you a general overview of just some basic highlight and contouring that I'm doing with this look. Finishing up with some added highlighting right at the center of the face. And then I'm going to set everything with a pale yellow powder, concentrating especially on the areas that I want to highlight. For the cheeks, I'm going to use a neutral pink brown on the apples of the cheeks just to add a fresh, soft glow. And then I'm going to top off that glow with a really shimmery highlighter. 
For the lips, I'm going to be using matte liquid lipsticks. I'm going to use a really light pink in the middle and then a peachy pink to create an ombre effect and then finish the center of the lip with that same highlighter. And now it's time to fix that hair. And for this look, for more modern take, fix your hair just as you normally would and then just add a cute headband and you've got a great classic smoky eye. You can really wear this anytime and just tweak it for this specific event by just changing it up with a headpiece and some jewelry. And have fun. Now, if you're ready to take this to the next level, we're gonna move on to the classic version and really smoke out this eye with a burgundy eyeshadow using an angle brush. And I'm really gonna take this into the crease and underneath the bottom lashes and blend, blend, blend. Now to stay true to the era, I'm gonna create that unique heart-shaped lip. And I'm gonna start with a matte burgundy lipstick that's got a full coverage. So I'm just gonna use a lip brush to create my line. If your lip color doesn't have this much coverage, I would recommend using a lip pencil to create this really sharp V at your cupid's bow. And you don't wanna carry this all the way to the very outside corners of your lip like you normally would. You're gonna keep this right at the center of the lip and form a heart shape. Now the real signature of this era was the brows. So I'm gonna remove my brow. I've applied a little bit of a brow wax to the brow and now I'm covering it up with a full coverage concealer. If your brows aren't as thin as mine, you wanna cover up your brow with a craft glue stick and then use foundation or concealer to finish that. And then I'm using a black brown eyeliner pencil and I'm just creating a really thin, rounded, exaggerated brow. Cleaning up with a little bit of concealer, we're all done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you back soon.